Hi friends, are watching movie reviews with uh, Raghuram. I watched a French movie. In fact, uh, yeah, the English version of uh, the movie Anatomy of a Fall. I think this title rings something in your ears. Yes, your guess is right. This is the same movie which got uh, an Academy Award. I was just very curious to know what is the content of the movie that it got uh, an Academy Award for uh, writing original screenplay for uh, Justin Treat and also Arthur uh, Harari. Justin Treat is also the director of the movie. So the movie, friends, has a very very simple uh, storyline but the setting the atmosphere in which this particular story has been set is on one side it is really awesome and beautiful snow clad mountains all around and a single isolated big home where three people live husband wife their son along with uh, their pet dog this is all and they have occasional visitors as well and they also have a domestic help and the nature in and around uh, that house what is the home for these three guys is so beautiful completely covered with snow and you'll fall in love with those sceneries what you see in and around and there the direction of photography the cinematography comes into the picture apart from this in majority of the movie we don't see the outdoor locations being shot it's a single location in which other than this we can see the court the next big thing what we see for the most length of the movie is the court where the courtroom drama happens so the home is beautiful, the surroundings are beautiful, but uh, the atmosphere inside the house, especially between uh, the husband and wife, they never tried to make the house a home. The chemistry was uh, very disturbed one. We actually don't get to see that other than in a small flashback and through the stories and narratives of different people, especially the wife and also uh, some sorts by son. Uh, the wife is a novelist and uh, the husband is uh, a teacher or a lecturer in the university. So their son is visually impaired and he occasionally goes for a walk with uh, a dog, with the pet dog, the pet dog guiding him. So in and around that particular area, he walks and comes back to the home. One day when he comes back, he found his dad dead. He has fallen right from uh, the open attic window, uh, like second or third floor maybe and uh, his head is broken and it's bleeding visually impaired uh, child couldn't see what has happened to his father uh, but he screams uh, then the wife peeps through the window so she, suddenly she realizes that something has happened she rushes down and finds her husband as well dead so what has happened whether the husband has committed suicide from jumping from the window or uh, has uh, the wife due to their arguments and also the disturbed chemistry did she push him out of the window and uh, was it a murder or somebody else is involved in this uh, particular uh, incident happening so to know that uh, to find out that you need to watch the movie anatomy of a fall this there is a fall and there is an anatomy there is a dissection of that uh, taking place in the courtroom drama the second best thing in the movie friends is the courtroom drama where uh, what might have happened on that particular day the fall incident is recreated recreated in the court and the setting of the court itself the atmosphere inside itself is so good to watch it's totally different from what the courts what we see in uh, uh, the indian movies or the court setup in india so the atmosphere inside the courtroom and the courtroom drama which runs the recreated situations the two lawyers the face off between them many witnesses including a visually impaired son who is totally confused what exactly has has happened uh, a psychiatrist and many more people come and uh, give the witnesses and how the anatomy of this particular fall how it is dissected in the courtroom, that courtroom drama is also very interesting. You don't have a mighty big story, though the length of the movie is 152 minutes. That was, at some point I felt uh, the movie editing should have been more crispier and shorter. Maybe a little less than two hours, the movie could have had a different impact. Though it is a slow narrative and here and there, there are uh, certain frames are definitely boring as they might cause disengagement from the storyline though the story doesn't deviate but nothing much happens in most of the frames the initial part of the investigation which happens in and around the house where there was a fall that's also very interesting and i was really surprised to watch the ending of this movie as i was watching and i was very keen to know what will happen next what will happen next what will happen next and suddenly the movie finishes at a point where you are not expecting it to have a climax like total finish and full stop there so the ending throws many questions at you to solve the puzzle what exactly had happened the anatomy is done the case is dissected the story gets a closure and even after the closure the satisfaction as a viewer you might not get you might get many questions in your mind the puzzle you want to solve the thirst the hunger to know what might have happened is kept under the wraps 
like there is an inconclusive conclusion with lot of confusion and lot of queries thrown at you. You might either be disappointed or you may just tell, wow, this is an open climax. Let's think and ponder on this. The mountainous terrain of Grenoble and the courtroom drama and a simple story what it looks really simple and the anatomy of a fall and a few mysterious components here and there. Not many suspects, but you're on the edge of the seat to find out what exactly has happened. Everything seems to be happening in front of your eyes, but you want that unveiling. That unveiling is not done. Friends, anatomy of a fall is not a regular type of movie what we watch, but it is highly appreciated because of the writing, the screenplay, the way the things are taken ahead and the way the things end without being ended. Last but not the least, the music in the background music is simply fabulous. Coming to the performances, Sandra Huller has given a fantastic, fantastic performance. As a wife who is a suspect, as a wife who is confused, as a wife who is in dilemma, as a wife who had bad and horrible chemistry with her husband. Obvious reasons for which she becomes the prime suspect. Her struggles with the world, struggles with the law and struggles and fights within herself are depicted in a wonderful way. The camera work is simply superb to capture the emotions. Swan or Lord, who plays uh, Sandra's lawyer friend, is yet another person who gets a lengthier uh, screen presence. He has also given good performance. All other actors, including the uh, boy who has played the, the son, the husband of Sandra, everybody have given good performances. For me, Anatomy of a Fall is a well-made movie, a good one-time watch. No unnecessary and undue drama, but a decent anatomy of a case. Thanks for watching my video. If you are not my video, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you all in my next video with another uh, movie review. Until then, do take care. Goodbye. Namaste.